Hello and welcome to your quick news, current event, and stimulus update. In the news today, two steps forward, one step back with stimulus negotiations. McConnell has accepted the Electoral College initial votes. Canada has joined the fray with all things vaccines. Moderna is having its FDA approval meeting today, whether or not they can be used for emergency use vaccines. And as always, I'm going to end off this video with some rapid fire current events. But before we dive in, make sure if by the end of this video you feel at all more informed or satisfied in any way, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It makes a huge difference. So let's get right into it. This week brings some deadlines with some heavy consequences. And it seems just when Democrats and Republicans were making some headway, they backtracked a bit when it comes to stimulus. You know that old quote, comfort is the enemy of progress? Well, we might have to change that to Congress is the enemy of progress after these months of stalemates. Anyways, Mitch McConnell has said he will drop liability protections for entities if Democrats are willing to drop state and local government funding from the next stimulus bill. He said, quote, we can live to fight another day on what we disagree on, but we ought to go forward with what we can agree on, which I, I can agree with that sentiment at least. The government spending bill, on the other hand, is expected to pass as insiders say it's going ahead like normal. So that leaves us just with that around $700 billion bill covering almost everything stimulus related except for stimulus checks. Great, so you know, let's just get that signed and out the door today. I mean, almost $500 billion of those funds are already left over from the last CARES Act. So in reality, they're only adding about another $200 billion in debt. And then worry about the things that you can not agree on later. Just, you know, like McConnell says, get past now what you can agree on, work on the rest later. Adding more ammo though to the argument against direct checks and more stimulus, the FDA will be holding another meeting to approve Moderna's COVID vaccine for emergency use in the US. If it's anything like the last meeting, it's gonna be an all day ordeal and will be about as entertaining as watching grass grow. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'll keep an eye out as to what exactly the results are and I'll report them here. While we wait for the second vaccine to begin delivering doses, Canada has begun vaccinating their citizens with 30,000 doses of Pfizer's vaccine this week. And then jumping back to Capitol Hill real quick, electoral votes have been cast and are being prepared for official results on January 6th. Currently, the votes have Biden as the winner and Mitch McConnell has come out to acknowledge the results, urging other GOP members to not fight these results and move forward with work, move forward with what they have to do. Kind of ironic when, you know, they haven't moved forward in like eight months, but, you know. <laughs> now let's finish off with some current events. Uber was working on a flying car taxi service for a few years now. It sounds like what the future should be. But they recently announced that they have offloaded the Elevate unit to another company called Joby Aviation. I mean, look at this thing. Imagine this picking you up to take you home from the bars or from Walmart or something like that. Moving on, an Irish company has built affordable homes for its employees. A couple that employs around 120 people had some employees come to them saying that they could not afford to live in Ireland anymore and would have to return to their home countries because of it. Because of it. And the couple responded by building housing on their company owned land to set these struggling employees off with some affordable homes to own. That's pretty awesome. And then finally, Jonathan Sandals, which sounds like a completely made up name. Sorry, Jonathan, but he's the founder of an app called Sook, and it brings local small business websites together at, to kind of create a one stop shop, allowing these small businesses to have a chance to compete with larger online marketplaces like Amazon. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, have a profitable day.